Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a kind of everyday makeup look. Now, my the makeup that I wear every day does kind of change depending on the mood that I'm in. Sometimes I wear eyeshadow, sometimes I don't, you know. It just kind of depends how I'm feeling. But today I'm just going to be doing quite a simple, natural makeup look with no eyeshadow. And I hope that you enjoy this. I'm also sorry for not uploading recently. I've just been quite busy and I haven't really had the chance to film a video. But I'm back now. And make, do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe down below. Let's just get on with the video. I kind of do my makeup really, 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 like, not really strangely. But I do it perhaps different to how other people do it. Since I do my eyebrows, then my eyes, and then my face. Because if I ever do a mistake on my eyebrows and my eyes, I can just kind of rub it off and start again. But when I'm wearing foundation, that's a little bit more difficult. And I've also just got my mirror down here. But I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I have quite... My eyebrows aren't like too dark. The, the Medium Brown. <laughs> you know? I do think that they're a little bit more grey toned than this eyebrow pencil though but it, it looks okay for now I probably will try and get a different shade soon but it's really simple how I do my eyebrows to be honest I just kind of outline them it never ever seems to affect you see if I was wearing foundation I'd be rubbing all of it off so I just go around the outside with the pencil really 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 lightly until I get that kind of the shape that I want and I am also very sorry for any background noise can't really help it all of my family is in and being very loud even though I've told them that I'm filming and yeah basically just outline it like that and I'm just gonna go do the same exact thing to this eyebrow so once I've kind of outlined them like this, now I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the same shade, medium brown. I've used this quite a bit as you can see and I'm just taking my Morphe brush and it doesn't have a number because I got it in a set for Christmas. But I just kind of use this to fill in areas where I don't have as much brow hair and to also blend out the pencil a little bit since can be a little bit more harsh nearer to the front of my eyebrow and things like that but yeah I just kind of blend out my eyebrow this is probably the quickest part because I just do this bit really quick since it's my everyday look and I don't really have two hours to spend on filling in my eyebrows so I just kind of whiz through this bit really quickly also, if you do want to purchase any of the products that I'm using in this video, I will definitely make sure to link all of them down below. And I'll make sure I link the brushes down below as well. Now, you can see that this one's kind of thicker than this one. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of my, where's it gone, Revolution Concealer and just carve them out super quickly. So, once I've finished my eyebrows, I'm now going to move on to my eyelashes. And I'm just taking this eyelash curler, which is actually just from Primark, but I feel like these are the cheapest and they also work the best with curling my eyelashes, like, you see that? Then I'm just taking my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and this is the waterproof one because I did try the kind of like oily one, but it just really, like really did not work for me because I, f I feel like oily mascaras make my eyelashes drop they'll curl my eyelashes for about two seconds and then they'll make my eyelashes completely drop but with waterproof mascara it does kind of get everywhere but it lifts my eyelashes up and it like keeps them up instead of lifting them up for the first two seconds and then suddenly just dropping them again i hope you can understand what i mean <laughs> but that's pretty much all that i do i don't do eyeshadow some days if i'm actually like going somewhere special i will do eyeshadow but i'm just really not the best at eyeshadow so don't exactly try <laughs> oh that one hurt i just 
run it through my eyelashes like so don't have particularly long eyelashes but I am happy with the length of my eyelashes it's just whenever I wear eyeshadow I feel as though I kind of have to and I've got it all over <laughs> kind of feel as though I have to wear false eyelashes otherwise my lashes just kind of disappear they just they just go to sleep I know you're not meant to do this but I'm gonna curl my eyelashes on top of the mascara because these eyelashes just really do not want to wake up I want them to have a nice lift like the other ones but obviously they don't want the same thing right okay that will do for eyelashes now the thing that I do next is a little bit weird and I don't think most like many people do this <laughs> But I take this liquid illuminator by NYX and it's called the Bone to Claw and I kind of put this all over my face because I love the way that it makes my foundation look and the way that it looks makes my skin look. It's honestly amazing and I do put quite a lot on as you can see. And I forgot to put primer on. The primer that I would usually use is the Professional Primer by Benefit but completely forgot to put that on. I actually use my hands to blend this in because it's so much easier using fingers, you know. I must say I do look really crazy when I first put this on but like the foundation will go over it and cover it. I'm not going to go out the house looking like this. Once that's all blended out, <laughs> I look really crazy but let's like, keep that. Oh, I'm going to try to get a beauty blender. Try to find the cleanest one, but it's not really a point because one of my beauty blenders are clean. So, I, I, I don't even I don't even know anymore. I think this one's the cleanest one, so we're just going to go with this one. Then I'm just going to wet that. So, just use my MAC Fix Plus. Then the foundation that I use on an everyday kind of like basis is the NYX Total Control Foundation because the bottle is super tiny but the coverage is pretty good. For a cheaper mascara, masco for a cheaper foundation I mean, it has amazing coverage and I just kind of put three little dots everywhere. And it may not look like much now, but when I start to blend it out, it will kind of give off more coverage. And I don't like to be kind of caked in makeup, so I don't like too much coverage. But at the same time, I do still want to cover my skin, obviously. It kind of just spreads around your face really nicely as well, like it's blending onto the other half of my face. And I'm just going to kind of do this all over my face because I feel like it will be very boring. you just sitting here watching me blend something out into my face for like half an hour. So I'll be back. Okay, so once that is all nicely blended out, you look like a little bit of a ghost because it's quite light. I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I did do a whole video on testing this concealer and honestly, it's become my favourite concealer just one that I pop on every day and it also gives amazing coverage and is really 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 creamy so if you're on a bit of a budget I would 100% recommend this foundation why do I keep getting makeup products mixed up 100% recommend this concealer and I'm dirty like that so I'm just going to take the same what am I I was going to say I'm just going to take the same beauty blender but I'm actually not. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush and just blend that out. I know it's a shadow brush but I kind of like using it for concealer because it really gets in those corners with my concealer. Otherwise 
I just kind of have concealer here and then none in there and it looks really stupid. And I'm just blending that out completely. It takes me ages to do to like blend things out and to do every part of my makeup so this is why I was kind of dreading doing a makeup tutorial because I knew it was just going to turn out to be so long as it was just going to be like a hundred different videos just of me blending my stuff out. That's went really patchy for some reason. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I do get a little bit of red around my nose, so just pop on a little bit of concealer there. And I'm not professional at makeup or anything. So if I'm doing something wrong or I'm not doing something how you do it, this is just the way that I do it. It's not the way that I'm saying you should do it. It's just kind of what I've learned and what I enjoy doing so I'm gonna carry on doing that. I'm gonna take a beauty blender as well because that brush is just honestly taken forever to blend it out and I don't want this video being like two hours long so right okay I think that's all blended now I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Fix to look like even more of a ghost and just straight away pop this under my eyes to prevent any creasing with my concealer. I just dot it like that. <laughs> Normally put the kind of leftovers on my chin and my nose and a little bit on my forehead because why not you know but while that is setting instead of just kind of waiting around for five minutes that can get very boring i like to do some contour if i can find my contour brush and two sometimes i contour sometimes i just bronze but on an everyday basis i kind of contour and then when i'm doing a more glam makeup look i just bronze to make my face look a bit more natural and then my eyes and my lips to really stand out but for today i'm going to be using the nip and fab contour palette i also have the highlight and palette of this but i'm just in love with the contour palette oh you also got a shimmery shade in here i did not realize that but i'm just going to take a kind of mixture of these two warm colors i did take quite a lot there as well so i'm a little bit scared I can never ever get my contour to be perfect it's either way too kind of orange or way too dark so if you're a pro contour do do let me know some of your tips and then sometimes I will just kind of cut that with the, the left of a powder just to give it a bit more of a straight straight line and that's pretty much how I contour. I am going to blend that out a little bit more because I've just realised how harsh it actually is looking in the mirror. But for now I'm just going to do the other side. And I just pretty much do the exact same thing. For some reason I feel like this cheekbone's lower than the other one. So it kind of looks a little bit ridiculous but I don't know, I might just be daydreaming, you know. Then I take a little bit of the lighter shade and then pull my hair back and just kind of bronze up my forehead because I can't forget about my forehead. I do have quite a big forehead, so. And yep, that's pretty much. I'm just brushing the little bit of powder away that was on. That's pretty much how I contour. I do still need to blend this bit out, but. Yep, that's pretty much what I do. I do like quite a harsh contour, so. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Then, sometimes I will do blush, sometimes I won't. I kind of feel like blush just ruins it a little bit. But if I was to do blush, I would use the Sleek Rose Gold. Is it Rose Gold? Yep, Rose Gold blush. Honestly, my Holy Grail blush. I haven't used any other one. But for now, I'm going to take my Morphe brush and try sweep away some of this powder. It does kind of like 
sit on my face and it doesn't want to move so <laughs> I just love the way that this powder makes my skin feel oh after putting it on it honestly makes my skin feel so so soft and so nice but yeah that's basically my powder then the one of the last things that I do is highlighter I'm actually not going to do highlighter in this video though just because straight after this video I'm going to be filming a kind of highlight that tutorial on how I highlight but if I was to highlight again I would use the Anastasia Moonchild which just looks like this and I would normally mix these two shades together on a little blending brush but yeah so that I'm not going to highlight I look quite patchy I don't know if you can see that or not but for my lips I am going to take some of the Smith and Colt lip gloss. I got this in a glossy box, so I'm not really too sure if it's any good or not. I haven't actually tried it out yet, so it might be absolutely disgusting or it might be really gorgeous. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Wow. That is stunning it's not one of those kind of really really sticky lip glosses either because you can get them and I really hate them it's just nice kind of have to concentrate to do lip gloss though <laughs> um I'm impressed that's just how it looks close up it's a really really kind of light pinky colour but I honestly I'm very very happy with this and this is pretty much forgot about one thing setting spray once that's dried this is pretty much my kind of everyday makeup tutorial it is a little bit more on the natural side except for the contour obviously like you need to blend it out a little bit more but I really like the way that it looks the way that it feels it doesn't feel too kind of heavy on my face and if you enjoyed this again make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye Hello.